think I should just skin this thing and be done with it. I can take no, nah, I can take this butcher. I can take this butcher. Take this butcher and Valentine. Cause I'm not. Uh, if it's not like good, I'm not gonna take it to Pearson because Pearson isn't gonna do anything with it. Let me get through. Ah, there, Mister. Corpse. That's what that is. My friend is a rotting corpse. I don't want anything too big. Where am I going? Yeah, I might as well go over here actually. Put my, uh, towards my mark. Go to roads in a minute. This is, uh, I think this is a slave. This is a slave town. But there's also good stuff in these cabins, from what I remember. There's like a, I think there's a melee weapon here. I can't really. Oh, that's locked. Can't go in there. Stay out, plague. About the church. I go to church. He's injured. I don't want to skin it, but I'm fine. I'll take your feathers. Maybe I'll write it down. Pleasant. He isn't going to write it down. Here's... Here's the empty town I found. Pleasant. Isn't there like a story around this town or some shit? I don't know for sure. So can you like inspect all this stuff and write it down here? this stuff now? No. What? The last thing to check out is that church over that that over there. Yep. That house. And that right there. But I don't think any of this stuff opens. Okay. Let's say miners? Miners ill with sin. Too. You can't go in there. I do think that place has an interior. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff I can explore down here in the swamp. I do down here. Now. Yeah, that does have an interior. It's like one of those pirate camps. Not camps, pirate places. It would make sense. Pirates were like the first settlers here. Let's be real. Pirates and the British. Pirates actually, let's be real. Pirates actually would have found this place way before British people did. 
Like, way before British people would have. Otis Miller. Otis Miller and the boy from New York. Number 69 in the series of Rune and Tales of Otis Miller's Adventure. Then when he had first arrived in New York City, his nose bristled at the foreign sights and smells, and he had a thirst a mile long. Otis sat on his horse. He looked out. I... Why am I going to read this? Hold on, let me get some water. Let me get some drink. Because reading this is going to kill me. I'll be right back. Number 69, our series of written tales of Otis Miller's adventures. Then when he had first arrived in New York City, his nose bristled at the foreign sights and smells, and he had a thirst a mile long. Otis sat on his horse. He looked he looked on at the wagon of the re and refuge, and the cacophony of city noises, and shoeless children. Running and workmen heading home and women carrying bags of groceries, and shouts and sounds that drowned his ears. The red reflection of the sunlight cut between the buildings and seems to, and seemed to sever them in two, like the curtain of some bador, bador. He got down from his horse, and walked it, and walked it to the outside of the outside of a bar and tied it up on the cobblestone street. When he walked inside, all eyes and ears turned as everyone took on his getup. He had left his gang holed up outside in the city at of the city, and had been this far toward civilization. He had feared. He feared one of them would get drunk or into trouble and disclose the whereabouts of the rest of his gang, who currently sat on a consider considerable amount of money, having perpetuated a bold holdup against the, that evil scoundrel on the Lanahesi, Lanahechi train that had been overrun by detectives outside of Blackwater and had fled north and east as a main, as a manhunter, as manhunters posed in various guises, scouring the countryside as everything from lightning rod salesmen to itinerant pedder, peddlers of farming implements in their, de in their desperate search for Otis and his gang of kindly outlaws, and the sizable bounty their heads were worth. Whiskey me with water back, and he said to the barky, barky bottom, especially, you wandering off some farm? I reckon maybe I did. He put a dollar down in the bar and looked the barky in the eye. A voice behind him hollered out, don't get, mu don't get much of your lot in here in New York City. No, I reckon maybe you don't, he said, turning his head to the side of the CAA, pegging Bush revolver pointed dead at his face. Patients looked on with breathless interest and waited for the outcome. Otis sneered. He had not even taken the trouble to turn around. He looked at the bartender let me have another, sir. And one for my friend here. I ain't your friend. There ain't gonna be no shooting in this bar unless I do it. And presently, you aren't worth the price of a bullet to kill you. Before the man could blink, Otis took a shot of whiskey and whipped, him, and whipped around, grabbing the man's gun and pointed in his face. You're gonna have to... You're gonna be quick in the draw. A baby could get the drop on you. What do you plan on doing? You're gonna shoot me from... Farm boy, every detective from here to Chicago will be after you. They already are. Otis sneered and looked the city boy up and down. The bar patrons gazed at one another in silence. Then Otis noticed the man's other hand held a second revolver that had been tucked in the back of his britches. Rookie made the greenhorn I thought you to be. Never thought I'd meet up with the famous Otis Miller in New York City. Otis smiled and handed him his revolver. You city boys have a queer way of greeting strangers. I'm looking for a Tucker Van Pelt with a with a gas lamp with the gas lamp gang. You found him? kindly bandit pulled out a handsome gold watch no doubt the memento of a daredevil raid he studied the numbers i reckon you're late they walked outside and passed a group of women 
pain and powder who whispered in a snicket as they went past. I hear you're interested in pulling a job at the Bank of New York. It's run by nasty folk who exploit the poor. You're going to need a team of horses to get all that gold out of here. That's a good thing, then. What's that? I know it's the place to get such a team. Okay. Oh, that's for Jack. Okay. Rockstar mate. Pleasance. Town of Death. Is there anything in here? No. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh. Ammo I don't use. Come on now, boy. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. Now, who is you? Tried that plan over there. It was like a gunshot. Oh, the one with the pink flowers, tiny little bastard. Steer clear. Steer clear. Is that Oleander? I owe you my life. Some things you learn the hard way. Yeah, you can. Oh, this is the one. You can say that again. Oof. Oleander Sage, yes, that is. Okay. Okay. I got uh, two things I can do. I might get back to camp. I might go hunt them while I'm down here. I don't know yet if I want to. Bro, I wanted to like how do you tackle in this game, bro? I know you could be you used to be able to tackle people in this game. I remember it. Maybe I'm dumb. Either way, get my horse. That's funny. <laughs> I have some game meat on me. You selling that bread? Uh, shoot. No, not buying from you. Yes, I am selling. Here. Prime bird meat. Game meat. Smallmouth bass. Largemouth bass. Some of the smallmouth basses. Thanks for your help. 
Must not have any game he cooked, I don't. Well, that's honestly the biggest, what, the best reason to go hunting, right? Rockstar made. Enjoying yourself here. Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Shocking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice should we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Uh, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. How? This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> how do you do somebody in Strawberry? I don't even want, you know, I don't even want to know. Rockstar made. Oh, Rockstar made. Sniffing around, see if I can drum up some leads. Well, do it quietly. Yes. Ah, uh, Mr. Morgan. Charles and. Uh... Hi, Charles. Hello, Martha. You must be nervous being this close to the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's Sean, that's Sean. Jack, my boy. Who's actually not my boy, but hey. Could be. I mean, what? Mr. Morgan. You okay? That looks fun. I guess. What's up, Abigail? Well, don't let me interrupt you. Okay, Uncle Arthur. The stew must be done if they have a plate of stew. And there's my boy Javier. Is that Oleander Sage you wanted, my friend? There's room here. You want to sit? Sure. Room here by the fire, Arthur. Yeah, I'm about to sit down, I'm about to sit down. Well, room by the fire here, Mr. Moving. Morgan. Damn, y'all really want me to sit down. I got you. Chill out. Gentlemen. Don't forget about all that money out there. Of course not. Here, I picked up some oleander. This enough? Yeah, should be plenty. I'll get working on some more knives later. All right. Jose asleep. Where is oh Dutch is in town? I'll show by that. Where is Dutch? He's in town. Bloody awful. Always good to see you. What you thinking about? Nothing much. Okay, well I'll leave you to it. She's well, always saying the same not thing. Much company. Take care. She's always saying yeah. You're always saying the same thing. What is this? I'm not reading all that. I ain't reading all that. <laughs> Cause I ain't reading all that, alright? Mary Beth. I think... I don't want to go fishing with Karen. Cause I don't want to. I don't. I really don't want to go fishing with either of them. So I think I'm gonna do Pearson's mission. Aren't you just sleep? 
I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slap you up. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a hand. Later. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here. I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! Uh! No! Phone beer! <laughs> Come with me then. You wanna head out there? Bro, Sadie is one of the best part. Man, so be it. Sadie is we one of the best parts. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Ad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list. And can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, Princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. You can tell Arthur really did not care. Like, in a sense of, like, doesn't too much care for, like, cool unnecessary down, conflict. I guess. No, I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. <laughs> Dear Aunt Kathy, you are somehow. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah blah blah. It's boring. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. What's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alien. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that bag. We got work to do. Whoa, where did I thought we was outlaws? Is that my gun? Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people are just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. For sure. This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Don't you go start any more shit out here. 
You folks are really spoiling the view. You talking to me, partner? Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. What an action. Don't matter to me, none. How can I help you, miss? It's missus. So I need potatoes. family have you? Something like that. And you sell clothes? We do. Not the right it brings a lady's fashion, I'm afraid. That's all right. I'll look at everything you got. Alright, I bet mean, she called she called herself Kilgore, but I don't I'm not I don't care to stay around for that shit. It is, it is, it is, um, is it his lower region? It's probably, it probably is, let's be wrong. Man, back in this time, you probably could have, you probably could have got, like, all kinds of rashes. Like, dead ass, all kinds of rashes, bro. That is kind of funny. I'm sorry, ma'am. Judge Toller. Why is she? Why is she so mean? Go away. What type of dog are you? You know what? American Fox Hound. Mrs. Adler. Fine. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Wow, that's a dickhead move. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for your goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. You drive. Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Yep. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. Hey, let me, put, let me take that marker off. There we go. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't here we now. love, listen, here we love Sadie. Sure okay. Now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry. About what you, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. That's real. That is Just so real. Hey there. Hey. What uh? What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No! Go, go, go! God damn it! Get moving! Oh, 
That is so evil. Calm down. No, past those rings here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. That guy was, yeah, that guy wasn't even doing nothing. Hey, watch it. We show those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. So who do they say they want? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. All right. Pearson. Not quite. Well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversation, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at, at shopping. shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> We got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. I got silver this time. I need a one more headshot. You're kidding. Awesome. Bro, it's, that has to be Tilly that calls my name like that every time. Right? Who called my name like that? It is Tilly. What's up, Hosea? You about to come tell me something? Hey. We should go fishing again soon. That was fun. Yes. I needed Arthur. that. What's up, Tilly? What you want? Sure, I'll play dominoes. They play dominoes completely different in this game. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, there was that one time, but he was a traitor. Miss Grimshaw, well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of awesome. Well, just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? If I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. 
Oh, yeah. I thought something looked different. Well, I saw that one. I'm trying to kill another easy enough. <laughs> I'll keep my eye out for you, too. Yeah, they play dominoes here completely differently. You, the goal is not to... Well, now it's different. Arthur has the highest doubles. I gotta play first. Uh, where is the doubles? I have the double six. That's crazy. No, that's not. No, that's not. Gotta start with that, right? So this is the dominance I'm used to playing. The one for a score. What you have? What's on here? Still 12. All fives. I will. Can't place that. I'm stupid. Um, yes, I know. Calm down, Tilly. One. She got the five. Okay. Could put a three on the board. Yeah, could put a three on the board. I want to get rid of these fives I got, for sure. Ah, shit. So, uh, yeah, what I should have done, I, okay, I should have friggin'. I gotta draw now, don't I? No, I don't. Uh, that's a seven. You know, that's a four. I think I like this spot better than what you overlook now. I hear you. Because you're winning? Where should be my ass? Six on the board. I could no, I can't. Um, yeah, I can. Yeah, turn it to a ten. She got twenty-five. Damn, she got fifteen off of that. Um, that is uh, this be a nine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this out of my hand though. So that's ten. It'll be either fourteen or nine. Let's lower the points. Get that shit down. Cut that off. Nothing here. To six again. I gotta draw. No, no, I gotta pull. Do I? No, I don't. I'm dumb. Was it three? It's three. Domino, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Give me your points. Give me your points. Oh, sorry. Here. Ah. Oh, I got a five. All right. Yeah, next round. If the Pinkerton could see you now. Killer, bank robber, dominoes player. You gotta keep them on their toes. Not the way you wanted to get arrested, though. Imagine the newspaper headline. Well, keep your eye out then. Arthur Morgan arrested for. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you only gotta draw if you have nothing to play. So you gotta play the 6 4. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, my uncle told me about that. You don't have to actually play the highest double first. Um, we're going... Uh, what's on the board? There's a 10 on the board. She scored a... F That's crazy. I'll take the 5, though. Yeah, I'll take the 5, though. Thought she beat my ass. 9 on the board. What's the double blank? Can I play the note? I can't. I can play this, which is nine. Can't play that. Play this too, which is a ten. She got nothing. She ran it down a seven. Okay. Two and a five. I cut that off. Maybe a little bit too eagerly. Cause I have nothing to play after I play this. Unless she does something for me. It's going to be nine. How many split a double? How many split a spinner? Yeah, she got Yeah, she had a pull. We need a spinner, bro. We need a spinner. Ooh, they gave me something to play, though. What's on the board? Eight. If I cut that three off, it'll be six. Ah, uh, she can only play off twos. I guess I kind of feel bad for you. Damn. Perfect. There we go. I could have played that other one. No, I couldn't have. My controller died? My controller died. <sighs> the cable's out.
our field, listen to me carefully, the cable is out. The cable's out? Rockstar made. Rockstar made. I think that's the only one I can play. Oh, it for sure is, but that's a five for me, though. So I'll take it. Okay, so she, yeah, she can only, she can only play off. Oh my god! Oh my god! I can only play off that. Uh, it's gonna be seven, seven on the board. We are tied up. She put a fucking yeah. Can I play the game? Okay, I got the spinner. She put a spinner down. I can't play the spinner. What is that? Nine plus... F no. Fourteen. It's fourteen. Gotta play the spinner there. Gotta play the spinner. This ain't looking great for you. <sighs> oh, she keeps drawing. Pull them bones. Ten. She got ten. You know what? I will take that same ten. Tilly, I will take that same ten. Cut it off for me. I guess I kinda feel bad for you. Uh, I should have done something else though. I should have. What I should have done is I should have. Nah, I couldn't have done it. I couldn't have done it if I wanted to. What's on the board? We got. Oh, cause it's counting all of them now. I think. No, it's not. That's six. That's yeah. That's why it's sixteen. Um, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. That's nineteen now. Cause that's another area to play off of. She got a 25. Damn. I knew she was holding on to something big, too. I mean, really, she won't get shit off me. That's good, though. That's good, though. She won't get shit off me. I want to get that. I want to get that four, um, that one four out of here. I should have played that blank one earlier, but I couldn't. I had to. Honestly, I could have kept the blank. I could have kept the blank. Damn, damn, damn. It's back to, no. That's 12 plus 15. No, 12 plus 10 is 22. It's 22? Yep. That's 26 on her part. Should I be calling you Deputy Morgan now, Arthur? Okay. What's up, Miranda? 23. I want a domino out, but she might, she might domino before me. We're back down to 13. She brought it down. Good, good, good. Thank gosh. I could domino out here, though. She can't play off any. She can't play off the ones. She's, see how she's avoiding the ones? Yeah, she can't play off ones. There's a blank over there, too. I could get a point out of this. There is four on the board. Yeah, I'm going to get a point out of this. Give me a point out of this. Give me that one domino you got. Much. It's 10. I'll take it. Total of the open ends if it is a multiple of five. Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. Alright. She might beat me this round if she can get 100. Because it's all fives to 100. Let's see what I got. I have the highest double. So I go first. What is this? Five three? It's five, six, seven, eight. Was it six three? That's fifteen. No, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine. You know what? I'll start with this. I'll start with this one. Give me a ten. Start us off. It's twelve. And then I'll make immediately get a five. So we got what's that on the board? Six? Must have on a beat. Oh. So I get then eight. I get then another ten. Yep. She gets a, she put a two on the board or she, she cut it off. She cut it off. Can I not play anything? Oh, no, I can't play anything. I can't play something. Ooh. But besides that, I'm I'm fuck I'm fucked up. 
We're gonna bring it back up to five. We're gonna get back up to four. What you got for me, Tilly? You got one. I'll take three. I'll put three on the board. So we got a two over there. I think she's realizing I can't play off of twos. For real, for real. She just go to five. Six. I mean, eight. There's eight on the board if I do this. I gotta do it. There's eight. She's drawing. She's drawing. And she didn't cut my shit off. There's nine. Let's see if I can get anything. This is six, twelve. Fifteen, fifteen right there. I'm done. I won. I'm done. Thank you for the game. That was fun. Well, here we are, Tilly. Both the game. That's the way it goes. That's the way I like. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Poison throwing knives. Thank you, Arthur. Not Arthur. Thank you. Javier. Thank you, Javier. Have a nice evening. Look, it's Slow Knife Morgan. Fuck you. <laughs> Is it because he beat me? That's crazy. Go to sleep. We don't go to sleep. Trip check. Trip check. I need to get some thumbnails while I'm streaming. I like to take a thumbnail of like the mission that the episode is about. But oh, that's kind of hard. Sleep in the morning. I need. 